Hi, Carol here and welcome to my craft room. I am just preparing for uh, the envelopes to put my cards in and I didn't want to bore you through another session on the gold leaf because I think you have it down. Gold leaf sticks to glue. Yes, bonus. Now, this video is an odd video. <laughs> I had to tell you right at the start because if you're looking at my craft table, you're going, <gasps> She never has her craft table with all that junk on it. No, I don't. I try not to. But today I am because I had four emails come through yesterday asking me what I look for when I go to thrift stores. One just said she was encouraged to get out and go thrift store shopping. She had never gone. I can't imagine never going into a thrift store. Wow. You miss out on so much uh, because one... A uh, man's junk is another man's treasure, I always say, or one woman's, of course. And uh, so I'm going to run through this fun video just showing you some things to look for when you go thrift storing. I have a game plan when I go thrift storing. I say it all the time. Don't walk in there just, you know, what am I going to get? And just browsing around because it's overwhelming. I mean, how many things can you really organize in a thrift store properly, like a store, you know, uh, everything in its place. Now, I'm fortunate because the Salvation Army I go to and four of the other thrift stores I go to um, in the States, like Amvets, um, is a really nice thrift store to go to. The, I always say the smaller the thrift store... Now, this is just my opinion over some... I've been thrift storing with my mom since I could walk, okay? And so we're talking probably, let's go 58 years. I was probably two. <laughs> I was probably in a buggy. Let's go 60 years, almost. I've been in thrift stores. My mom and I used to... Um, go into the thrift store on Saturdays. We'd each have a quarter and we would see this four girls, you know, so I was the oldest. So um, it was quite a lot of fun for me to have a quarter back then. And I would get to just thrift store shop on a Saturday with my mom. And my mom used to take, she would buy kilts. Uh, the bigger the outfit, the better. And she would go home and on top of a great big board, she would take it apart and she would make us four girls matching outfits. If, they, if the kilt was really big, we had four little small kilts with the pin and everything because she would look for the pins. She always had a goal. She always walked in and had a plan. And now my sister's all but one. <laughs> my baby sister doesn't serve store. But the three of us other girls, we do. We, we thrive on it. Who can get the best buy? <laughs> I think I'm the winner. <laughs> I hope they're not watching, but I really do think I am. And uh, so I'm going to run by you my list, the list that I make when I go into a thrift store. I categorize it, whether it's kitchen items, baking items, thrift, uh, craft room items, um, bedroom items. I'm going to show you. I, I do have a plan when I go in there and I don't divert from it. Very seldom do I divert from it unless my eyeballs go over to something that totally, you know, captures me like the bridal gowns. I was watching videos and watching all of this applique and I knew I couldn't afford to buy, you know, a ton of applique at $10 a little piece. There's no way. And, um, so I, you know, the first thing that came to my mind was bridal gowns. So I went out and I got two bridal gowns with the, the, the longer the trains attached, the better. Because look on the train, applique everywhere. So I have them in my closet and I get them out. They have the matching hats full of applique, the matching everything from the headbands to everything. I pick them up because I don't mind tearing the sleeve off. I did it first, but I don't anymore, and taking the applique off, or running down to the train, looking at it and seeing what applique I need for a project. So look for bridal gowns if you need applique. And bargain with your uh, people that 
you know, that are at the thrift store. Now, m most of them where I go, they know me. They know when I come in, yikes, she's going to want a bargain. But you know what? If you fill your cart up and you're going to buy all that stuff and you just say, you know, could I get this for such and such a price? They're generally pretty reasonable. I know some will not budge. There's different workers that, you know, their job is on the line, they think, if they, you know, adjust anything. But the stuff comes in free. And I give to the thrift stores. And I generally buy my own stuff back. <laughs> I try not to do that. But, you know, this is what I'm saying. So here we go. All right, one on my list was to hold my paintbrushes. This is my craft room list, okay? I have four lists. This is my craft room list. So I wanted something nice to hold my paintbrushes. Now, I used to hold them in this. I want to move this. I'm slowly going to work my way away. But I used to buy up these glass jars. I still do. See this glass jar? Nice big glass jar. Now I put my pouncers and my sponge daubers in there. And they're right here. Accessible. They, they're see-through. You know if you don't see it, you don't use it. And that is always so true. And I'm, I'm not a thrift store expert. But I'm a thrift store expert yeah I've been doing this for years I guess I am an expert okay listen up <laughs> from an expert thrift store person so you know little things I'm looking at them right here right down to 50 cent salt and pepper shakers to put your dazzling diamonds in yes I could go I mean oh man if I look around my room most of it is uh, I keep my Prisma pencils in a beautiful vase because I can see everything. It's see-through. Okay, so I, I'm going to show you here. I'm just going to kind of show you. I have one large and one small holder here. See how it has the holes that go down inside? I got two. That's all I needed. Don't pick up 16 of them. If you don't need them, don't buy them because all you do is store it. I've learned that over the years. Uh, now, if you're if a sibling needs it, or your sisters need it, or you you know whatever, if you're picking it up for somebody else, whoa, go for it, buy it. But if it's for you and you think you're going to just put it in your closet and use it someday, my closet is full of evidence. You will not use it. You won't even know it's in there. It's like this lost underworld when I go in my closet. It's like, oh wow. I have five Michaels units with five drawers in each, and that's 25 drawers in my craft closet, okay? You think they're not filled with stuff? I don't go in there. Why? Because I have two units blocking my door. <laughs> so I have to use the un move the units to get in there. <laughs> but if I want to have a surprise shopping time and I can't get out to my thrift stores, and I'm having thrift store anxiety, and I have them, I go into my closet. I invite people, come on into my closet. Let's go shopping. Yeah, where are we going? In my closet. <laughs> You're nuts, Carol. Yeah, but you know, it's a fun nuts. I have fun. All right, so put down, this is craft room now. I'm telling you my craft room supplies. I just got to walk it over because it's taken up. And put everything back in the same place. Or you go through the agonizing, um, you know, it's agonizing to not have a place to put stuff. Trust me, I'm one that used to always put things just to get it out of sight, out of mind. Now, I bought Lindy's, excuse me, I need a little bit of my juice. I, w I had Lindy's stamp gang I ordered. Uh, I don't know, 30 bottles? I can't even count them over there. I needed somewhere to put them. Went to the thrift store. And I'm going to just show you. Many people have seen it. There's my unit over there. It says Lindy Stamp Gang. If you let me see if I can zoom in on that. There you go. Lindy Stamp Gang. And all of my sprays, everything is on there. Okay. That cost me two whole dollars for that unit. Did I paint it and everything? No, I left it in the wood. I grabbed some stickers and put Lindy's Stamp Gang up there, you know, some uh, alphabet things just to jazz it up and put it over there on my 
a desk. Okay, let's move over here. Now, um, this is going to go by fast, so I'm going to rush through this. Um, doodads. I put down uh, crystals. That's what I put down to look for shiny things. Excuse me. I got these things there for 50 cents. I'll use them. That's a nice little find. Um, look for, I put just containers and then beside it I put beads and one was for uh, brads and whatever you're looking for. This one, I have 12 of these for beads. They screw off, which I really like that idea. I mean, that makes a difference whether you want them to, you know, be able to come off like, like that. Um, I pick up these little jars. They're little fruit jars, jam jars. I pick them up because I break down all my big items into smaller little ones that I can just reach for. Okay, then um, attachments. I have a bag that I sequence in attachments that they're all little types of different attachments in here that you can just grab the bag and I'm doing a project, that's why I say that. Here's my glass jars that I like to uh, buy sets of. They're glass, they're see-through, my beads and my hearts are in here. My boggles are in here. Um, I know there's three different things in here and these are for my stick pins, okay? I know they're in there, I can see them, see through, okay? So that's another good thing to put down on your list. Um, books, I treasure books. Here's a beautiful, uh, it's the Royal Path of Life. I mean, this is an absolutely gorgeous, it is so old, I can hardly turn the pages. Look at the pages in here of Victorian yumminess. Look for books if you're looking to do mixed media or a collection. I collect old books. So, um, anyway, more jars. These I think I have 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 20, 20, 20 27, 30, 30, 36, 40 of these. And they're the spice things. They're always at my thrift store. These are for my sequins. I put exactly what sequin is glue gunned on the top. 40 of these I have on a shelf. And I know the color. I know the charms. I know everything that is in the, this because they're see-through. My thing now is see-through. You know, I, I needed uh, to buy some... All my shelves, um, all my shelves, let me see if I could get to a quick shelf. The, I have a unit here, one of those $100 units from Michaels, cost me $5. And I'm going to tell you how you get those things in a minute. There's a, a way to get the bigger items without having to go through the, um, the, the actual store. And it's not going behind it and taking the stuff. <laughs> No, 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 you don't want to do that. Sequins, 39 cents. Um, oh yeah, here's my finished card. I wanted to show you this. I, I saved two of these ink cards. I want you to see them close up. These are little wee um, pearls. And I, and I try to save. I went through my binders and I found that I do save them. And um, anyway, yeah. I'll put that back in my binder. I had it there. My finished card. Uh, cards. Uh, I put pictures on there of this uh, finished card. I'm really thrilled with it. So, them. Two of them. I'm doing the envelope shortly for you. Um, and then I'm going to do this card with the train. I'm going to make the train come out and go back in. That's my next card. That's from my friend Johnny. Thank you, Johnny. All right, now, I got another glass lid. I got these stamps. These stamps are old. These are all of, this is Boo Boo. These are all cartoon stamps. There was a collection of cartoon stamps and I got it. 
uh, there was somebody else fighting for this, and I have my hand must have been longer, my arm reach must have been longer because she wanted these really bad. And they're all cartoon, Walt Disney cartoon stamps. There's uh, about 40 of them in there. Anything that is material, lace, and tool, pick it up. This one was a dollar. This is gorgeous, okay? There's where you're going to find your lace doilies. I bought 150 lace doilies in one shot. I went over, pulled the whole drawer out, went to the till and said, how much will you give me to take every one of your lace doilies? She told me, I think it was $20 and I got over 150 doilies for $20. Just went in and got this for a dollar, this hat. I love this hat. I think of royalty when I see this hat and it just goes on like that. I love it. I'm going to make some black and white uh, uh, one of these. Easy. I have everything in my craft room to make these. So I picked that up. That's one of my recent ones. Love it. Okay, let's hurry on here. Um, I needed a timer to time my videos. Picked up this clock. Yes. That's a 50 cents and that's a nice clock. Okay, works and everything. Um, storage, you can pick up storage. I got a, a luggage set, an antique luggage set of three. Um, this is priceless. I love this, okay? To store your crafts in. Storage, a dollar, store your crafts in. Isn't that gorgeous? Heavy duty stuff there. Get your trays there. You want to store your paints? I have five of these trays. These are breakfast trays. Whoa, excuse me. Grab breakfast trays. See them here? Let me just show you there. See that? Those are those glass. See underneath? Breakfast trays. It has a picture underneath. I have five of them. I store them. Uh, they slide underneath your anything. Mine are on a shelf. So um, grab those trays. I'm just going quickly. And I'm doing this for somebody that asked me. So um, I'm not just doing it, you know, for fun here. Well, I am. I'm having fun. I wanted a bird thing. For candle. I got that. Look at they all turned. Yes. Set a candle on top. That was my 10 cent buy. Loved that. I just got this beautiful candle holder. Glass candle holder. Glass and brass. Love it. That was a dollar. I needed uh, iron for my crafting. Two dollars, brand new, Black & Decker iron. I needed a ribbon straightener, 50 cent perfectly mini uh, hair straightener. I always look for boxes, 10 cents. I look for wooden objects, and I'll show you these ones in a second. All these wooden dowels, I name them. I know these are going to be daubers eventually if I need another dauber. You want to look for these little book things. I have a collection of these from the thrift store. What does it house? Hundreds and hundreds of these little knobs that I will use for mixed media, cards, whatever, can paint them up. I have two of these and two in, there are two, these little small ones. Remember I said I break them down into little jars so that I can just grab a jar instead of this whole thing. And they're all sizes. Somebody dropped them all off. And they look pretty. They look pretty like that. Nobody's going to know they're, uh, you know, 50 cent little knobs. If I opened up hat boxes, I collect hat boxes. I have hat boxes full of metal embellishments. Full. I got it at the thrift store. Um, I love the butterflies. I didn't get this at a thrift store. This was $10. But... My grandchildren, I had the funniest story ever and I'll share it, but look at, if you tap the top, 
The little butterfly looks like it's real. I have the funniest story. My son had one of these in his kitchen, and I thought he really caught a butterfly in there. I couldn't believe it. And it's not real. Look at Does that look real or what? Look at $10. I went and bought all six or seven different butterflies. This is the monarch one. <laughs> Look, I love this guy. Anyway, that's just paper, and that is a nice topic when I have all one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven of them. Different butterflies on my shelf. My grandkids love it. Uh, my girl, my BFF's daughter's having her baby today, a Valentine's baby, and look what I hauled out. I made a mini album from this 12 by 12, um, and I kept one. I kept one page from this mini that I gave away for a gift, and this is going to be her card. You just flip it open, and I'm going to put my message in there, and I made a six-page mini for a friend of mine, and I made an extra front uh, of the dress. So I'm sending this off to her. Parchment paper. Parchment paper, these are two for a dollar at my dollar store. You get 20 sheets for a dollar. You use parchment paper instead of your vellum. It works just as nicely as vellum. Look at beautiful parchment paper. Ten sheets for twenty sheets for dog. There are two packages of silicone um, parchment paper. That's dollar store. Watch for that. You can use that if you don't have vellum. Um, the last thrift store great item that I got. I got this um, alterations die. I had one, and that because I use it, you can tell it's well loved. And then I found this one. Okay, now I actually paid five dollars for it, but I knew I couldn't get it for five dollars, so I ended up paying that. Buttons, oh yes, millions of buttons you get there. This is my button stash. When I just get my buttons, I put them in here so I can sort them and I sort them in my units by color. This is my white color box. Just in baggies that I can unzip, take them down, and all the colors are separated but my bottom jar because sometimes I like to just uh, go through and see these beautiful uh, vintage buttons. Buttons, look for buttons. I hope I'm helping somebody here. Uh, I have to put all this away. <laughs> ah, um, I like to look for things for just decorations. I just got an old-fashioned phone for $2. An actual, you know, one of those ding, you, you ring them up and they hang on the wall? Um, I got these for $2, a set of ceramic, beautiful flowers. I use these to decorate in my craft room, but I also use them if I'm taking pictures and I need a nice backdrop. I have written down backdrop for little things I like to use for that. You know, like my little veggie people. Look at I made a pear card. And for 25 cents each, I got these gorgeous wooden, um, four of them, wooden fruit and vegetables. This one's the pear. There you go. Uh, jars to hold glass jars because I collect milk glass for my hutch. I bought my hutch, my antique hutch that people are trying to get off of me. I did it up in one day with my BFF. I got it for $35 at the thrift store and it is a valued piece, this hutch. It's absolutely out of this world. I should take pictures and post it for you. It is gorgeous. Um, let me see. Do I have anything else? Trays, ice cube trays for your painting to put your paint colors in. And then you can just put a covering over them and store them on top of each other. Stackable. It's wonderful. Um, magnet holders. My unit behind me here has, it's magnetized. So I hang these. Ten cents. Beautifully colored. I can look in my craft room and pretty well look at. I can pretty well show you things that I get. Um, I couldn't resist this phone. 
and everybody hears it on my, look at this. If it rings, I wonder if I could get, try me. Oh, let me hang it up, try me. And it works. Try me. How does this work? She talks to you, and it's so cute. See how I muck things up here? Okay, it's on, try me. Close it. Anyway, she talks to you when it's time. It's one of those old phones. Oh, my light just went out. I just clipped my light off. Sorry. Yikes, just a minute. There we are. Yeah, so I liked that. That was not on my list. That was just my eyeball went to that. It's one of those things you... Um, Velcro. I get my Velcro there. This holder uh, behind me, which is absolutely a stunning holder, if I could um, show you. It has things in front of it, but let me see if I can. This holder that I have right there on my shelf, that houses things, and everything on this shelf is thrift store. Okay. Um, let me zoom in properly. Now I'm getting ready to do a video. I could go on and on. I'm just looking around to just see little items that I could show you that I collect um, that are written down. These are these containers that I get at the thrift store. These are to put my bling in, these metal containers. I bought two of these for a dollar. These big metal containers. I can just grab them there. Um, all kinds of stuff, mixed media things. Um, let me just see. I guess that's, uh, I don't want to start hauling out billions of other things, but uh, here's another one of my little my little people that I got. I mean, these cost you next to nothing. They make your craft room look cute. Tool. Oh, bolts and bolts of tool. In my... Uh, I'm going to do a room tour and actually show you. Sometimes I don't like to do that. I, but I love watching them. And I don't think they're bragging things. I've heard some people comment, you know, it's like bragging or something. But I don't think so. I think you're blessed with something, and I think it's a blessing for others to be able to see what uh, God has blessed you with. So, anywho, that's a few items. Just a little video to show you that you can um, experiment. See, there's my little uh, Lazy Susan I got to organize right there at the little drawer. And uh, now I am doing my Stamp Nation uh, challenge, heart challenge. So I got out my Stampin' Up! texture plates. Uh, this love one. I am going to do a beveled acetate card for this challenge. And so I t it's going to have butterflies. Uh, this whole box. See, this is what I do. I walk around my craft room. I box up everything for what I'm, my, my assignment I'm going to do, my next card. And then I walk my box around the room and put it away that easy. So I'm going to use this one and possibly a little bit of the sh fancy fan. Okay, have a blessed uh, afternoon and I pray this helps somebody. Okay, take care.